Hello YouTube. In this video, we're going to review the heavy duty eye point school sharpener from the folks at Westcott. Let's get to it. Let's examine the box here real closely and see what uh, we have in store here when we open it. Well, it says that uh, it's heavy duty, has a durable helical blade, has an auto stop, has an XL, which is extra large, shaving reservoir, it's low noise, and it has a multi-hole dial, as you can see in the picture here. More of the same on the side, and it tells us right here, auto stop technology, designed for high volume school and office use, multi-hole dial, accommodates all popular pencil sizes, low noise rating, super fast sharpening using helical 12 blade technology, large easy view shavings reservoir, and a safety cutoff if the shavings reservoir is removed. And it says the same on the other side. And on the back, it says the following. Let's see if we can get it to be in focus there. It says the Westcott pencil sharpeners are necessary for any school or office that uses pencils regularly, like my office and art studio. A good pencil sharpener will keep your writing instrument sharp and ready to use for a long time. Westcott offers a wide variety of pencil sharpeners to meet your every need. This electric pencil sharpener quickly sharpens the tip of your pencil. The sharpener does all the work and the container neatly captures all the shavings until it's time to empty it. The heavy duty construction ensures long lasting performance. Oh, and take a look at that. It has a 10 year warranty. This product is warranted to be free of all defects in workmanship for the period stated on the package, which is 10 years. Certain limitations apply. Gives you the website here at www.westcottbrand.com or you can call this phone number for more information. All right, and there's the rest of the goodie. You can see that there's their website again. They're on Facebook, YouTube, and I believe that's Twitter. All right. Now that we've examined this box thoroughly, it is now time to dig inside. Comes with this little sheet of paper here. Tells you the model number. This one happens to be the 16681 AC motor sharpener. All right. Congratulations on your purchase of the Westcott Heavy Duty AC Motor Sharpener. We know that you will enjoy its wonderful design and great performance that will give you years of use. How to use. Insert the plug into the nearest power outlet. Says guide pencil into front opening Gently but firmly, but do not force. Motor will start automatically. I think I better get it out of the box before we can do that. Oh, wow. Man, they weren't kidding. That is pretty heavy duty. Take a look at that baby. Wow, that is one substantial pencil sharpener. All right, now there's the tray. You see it has the Westcott brand on it. It's got a lot of room in here, so you can do a lot of sharpening before that thing fills up. That's why they refer to it as an extra large reservoir. 
You can see that it has a dial here for different size diameter pencils and you definitely want to adjust this to your pencil diameter size rather than just leaving it on the big one here because if it's too much play you'll get an uneven shave on that point so it's nice that you can adjust this to pretty much the exact diameter that you need for most common pencils even apparently a very very skinny pencil right there for the most part these would be like this would be the standard size as well as that these two right here and then your jumbo size pencils would be these two right here and those are the kinds that I use most of and then if you look underneath here I'm not sure if we can get it there you should be able to see it right there there's that helical blade I'm going to bring it right out into the open here and it's very 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 sharp and you know where they get that term helical from it's like the DNA helical you know it kind of twists like this and that's you can see that twisty type shape to it and I'd be very careful about putting your finger in here like I just did while it's still plugged in not a good idea shame on me anyway give you a nice view of whole underside here you can see the UL listed stuff there silicone pads nice silicone pads it feels like that's the material that was used for that all right and I've had my hand all over this it's getting a little bit fingerprinty but it just clicks in like that and it's ready to go and it is very very substantial like the motor in here you can tell is built to last because it is hefty but it's not too unwieldy you know for everyday office desk or in the school and so forth All right, so let me grab a pencil here. I'll just take one of these Derwent Onyx pencils. And I can see that I need to adjust. Oh, there we go. It's ready to rock and roll. So here we go. Um, first off, let me uh, really let me butcher that little puppy there. All right, take a look at that. Holy disappearing act. <laughs> I've, I've killed that little thing. It doesn't have much life left. Anyway, let's see if we can revive it with this Westcott Eye Point Sharpener. Hey, it just stopped on its own. Check it out. Ooh, wow. Look at yeah. I gotta try it on a different pencil. Yeah. Let's see. Let me just get a standard pencil here. Here's a Blackwing. My favorite pencil of all time, the Blackwing. Yeah, guys, close your eyes if you don't like to see this. I know it's sacrilege, but here goes. Oh, oh, oh sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. All right. I'd say that this black wing requires a little bit of sharpening. So, curious if it will fit in this other hole here. It just stopped on its own. There you go. Take a look at that. Wow. That did quick work. I gotta do another pencil here. Now this is not a cheap pencil. This is the 
Carondash Swiss Wood HB. These pencils are expensive, and rightly so. They're a very nice, very nice pencil. Okay, we can see it's already sharpened. Well, let's see if we get a different kind of point here. So I'm just going to feed her into the animal. Oh, easy now, girl. Okay, I'm going to adjust because it, the diameter of the pencil needs to fit in the hole. <laughs> this thing's pretty clever. It knows when to stop. And now look at that point. Look at that. The General Cedars Point. I guess that's sharpened already. So it's not going to sharpen your pencils unnecessarily and it won't eat your pencils like some other sharpeners that I have reviewed in the past that will just keep going and going. This here is a Faber Castile 1112 1 equals 2B pencil. A very dark pencil. Okay, the reason it's stopping so quickly, it's because it's saying, dude, it's sharpened already. All right, can't fool it. Can't fool this thing. All right, let's check it out. There's the shavings right there. Ten year warranty, huh? Nice, really nice. Now this, this is a shorter point, okay? This was done with a standard pencil sharpener. And what we're gonna do here, just so you have some comparison, is I'm going to show you the before. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. That's your before, and now, let me sharpen. Doesn't need to do that much more. And there's your after. Okay, before and after. It just so happens I have another electric sharpener that's on my desk here that I did a review on. It's been a very, very reliable pencil sharpener. And I want to uh, do a comparison here. So, let's do this. I'm going to grab a couple of more of these Onyx pencils here. I'm going to thrash them up pretty good. All right. Now, I'm going to sharpen one in this one here. Hmm. Okay, I can't get it in there, so this pencil is a little bit too thick for that pencil sharp. Pencil's gone through some rough times. There we go. Look at that. Yeah, baby. Alright. Alright, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use these uh, I Imagine pencils that I did a review on not too long ago because I can get two unsharpened pencils here that we can do a little comparison 
and see, um, well, get an idea of which one provides uh, what kind of a point. So here I'm going to put it in this uh, electric pencil sharpener that I've been using for some time now. nice point right I like it and now let me go sharpen in the heavy-duty eye point sharpener I guess it doesn't want to do anymore and let's compare the points Okay, so they're pretty close. The eye point's a little longer. As you can see, it's a little longer of a, of a core exposed. And I'm showing the, the longest side because they all have this. You come over here and you can see that the eye point is just a little bit. But, you know, that, that's not a big major difference. They're both excellent sharpeners and they both do a great job of sharpening the uh, pencil giving a nice point but I wanted to emphasize something in addition with the heavy-duty eye point sharpener from Westcott and that is the auto stop uh, this little piggy ran home from the store ouch okay so anyway that's the only difference in the actual functioning of the sharpening is that the auto stop is pretty cool to have especially if you don't want to have to stop and check stop and check stop and check so I definitely like that feature and it looks like I'm gonna go ahead and put this next to my desk and uh, give this to my daughter Daddy, I love you. Because it's still a good sharpener. I've gotten a lot of use out of it. Okay, I have this Koinor Hardmuth Magnum 1821 HB pencil. And this is a really big diameter pencil, as you can see. And if you want to compare, you could just compare, for example, to this. Ticonderoga Nior pencil and you can see the difference in the diameter so with that we're going to want to find a hole that it will fit in and that's where you could adjust this and here is a hole that it will fit in and so I'm going to go ahead and, and put it in there but before I do I want you to take a look Here is the standard sharpness. So it's stopping. Like, hey, you don't need to sharpen it anymore. All right, I won't. Now let's go ahead and Take a look at that. Okay, so that's the that's the wide pencil there. Here is the your pencil pre-sharpened. 
and you can see that's the point. I'm going to, I guess that's going to be the right size, we'll find out. It's so quick. All right. Thoroughly going to enjoy using that pencil sharpener. And there is the point. All right. These are pretty nice, pretty nice long points. It's definitely not a short point. It's a nice long point. And that is a real plus. When I'm riding, especially with my black wings, they wear really quick. And I have to put them in and sharpen them and sharpen them and sharpen them. And it's nice to have something on the desk that you can do that with quickly. And here is a yellow pencil from Mega Brands. It's the USA Gold. Pretty common pencil. This is how it comes pre-sharpened. Looks like a golf pencil tip got to remedy that real quick and I mean real quick whammo we took care of that little puppy didn't we yep she's a done and you can tell that the core in this pencil is not centered to begin with that's not the fault of the sharpener that's the fault of the core itself when you don't get a nice uh, exposure of that core it's because it's slanted off center somewhat just a little tidbit for you here's a cedar point it's the uh, number two HB pencil it says right there and these also come pre-sharpened as you can see with the little golf tip they call it standard standard point but I think it's just a little bit too short so it needs to be remedied and there you go yeah baby yeah if you can tell that I'm having fun with this sharpener by now you be correct I really like this thing this is awesome I want to thank uh, the subscriber who told me I should try out the Westcott pencil sharpener because it was really worth doing. It's really good. That is a real hefty, really hefty. Oh, and it, it has the rubber little or plastic, let's see, it's kind of a silicone type feet on there, which is really nice. Model 16681. Yeah, that's going on my desk. Well, there you go. That's the heavy duty eye point school sharpener from Westcott. Details are down below in the description area as to where you can acquire this sharpener. I definitely like this. This is a very nice sharpener. It does feel substantial. It's got a very good heavy duty motor in it. You can feel it. And it has all these nice little sizes so that your pencil fits just right. And as you saw, the auto stop feature, excellent. So anyway, if you like this review, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't done so, please subscribe button right there. Leave your comments below and I will see you in the next video. Bye.